so what I want to say about groups is that at some point you're going to hit critical mass where people are going to start finding your groups without you actually inviting them to join it. That's what's happened to me in my own personal experience. You get up to about 200 people on, as group members. And you know when somebody joins a group, it tells that person's network that they just joined this group. So if that information looks useful and the name of that group has some keywords in it that intrigue somebody, they're going to join it voluntarily. So initially when I first started creating my own groups, I had them set up to where they had to request to join instead of auto-join. And it is more work. If you're trying to really drill down who's going to join your group at the point of admission, you can do request for join instead of auto-join. Recently I've made a shift and now all my groups are auto-join. It's just an easier way, it's faster to get your groups to grow on autopilot. Are any light bulbs going off for any of you yet about using groups? So as an example, Let's say that you have a company, whatever it is, and you have all these different products. So you have a group for your product, and then you have these sub, or for your company, and then you have subgroups for all your different products. So let's say that you make loans, and you work for a company. Then you have all of your subgroups as niche-specific loans. Same concept, products and services broken down into subgroups. Using keywords, they're all searchable, they're indexed by Google. It's really powerful stuff. <clears throat> so if you go to groups, you just go to the top here, select groups. You'll see the options of your groups, groups you may like, groups directory. This is where you can go looking for groups. And this is also where you can create your own group right from here. And then uh, Below this line will be all the groups that you either uh, run yourself or that you belong to or both. Then you just select uh, one of your groups. And then this is what's called a discussion feed on the face of a group. So you can come in here and start a discussion. Um, there are categories, yes? I'm just saying, so basically these groups, you know, you're, you're making groups, people are joining groups. For lack of a better word, is this where like, you, would, you would be writing a blog about like, hey, here's some cool information. Yeah. Like, Give me, let me know what you think. So that's what this is. It's a big blog network with groups. It sure is. If you don't want to go through the time, effort, and energy of creating your own WordPress blog, you have one right here. You can create a blog by just having a LinkedIn group. That's what I really like about LinkedIn. For a lot of us, you could just learn how to master LinkedIn as your only social media platform and pretty much have it all going on without having 16 different things that you're trying to figure out and grow all at the same time and getting confused and frustrated by it. Why not just start with LinkedIn first? Master that. Once you learn the, the concepts of how to share appropriately, how to build connections, how to take your contacts offline and market to them through email marketing, get that dialed in using LinkedIn. Then if you feel it's necessary to go out and expand horizontally with other platforms, do that next. But a lot of us have a very limited amount of time, energy, and financial resources to, to dedicate to building this huge, massive social media program. Not that it's not worth doing, it is. But if you want to get started and get results quickly, of all the things I've done in the last two years, LinkedIn is by far the best for doing business. So when you post to a group, it's pretty basic. You're just uh, typing in your comments. If you have a link, you just cut and paste the link right here. So in my case, you know, in real estate, there's no shortage of content. I subscribe to Inman News and uh, company newsletters. I get stuff barraged in my email inbox every day. So when I see something that looks interesting, that relates to the topic of my group, like real estate investing, I'll just cut the link, paste it here, and then I'll put my commentary in there and hit the send button. And now that disseminates or it syndicates to anybody that belongs to that group. It's a real easy way to blog. How many bloggers are in the room today? How many people have no idea or don't even want to know about blogging in particular? Most people I know, when you talk about blogging, um, they say, I don't have time. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do, all of those things. Well, the thing is, if you're on Facebook, you're blogging. Mark Zuckerberg has 750 
gazillion of us blogging and we just don't know it. It just feels like it's fun and warm and fuzzy. If you're playing around on Facebook, you're basically blogging. It's really no different. You can spend the same amount of energy, even less, on LinkedIn and actually do business with it. And then, <clears throat> so now you've put it in there, then you hit the like button. That notifies your network that you like that and rattles your cage to look at it. The other thing that you can do with your own group is you can select what's called a manager's choice in your group discussion. So let's say that you find a really interesting piece of content, you post it as a discussion on the wall of your group, and then you hit one more button and you select it as the manager's choice. Well, what happens is, is that that content will live in the upper uh, right-hand corner on the face of your group. So anybody that lands on your group that's a member of your group will see this static display of your manager's choice. So in my case, with my social media group that I have on LinkedIn, whenever I have an upcoming seminar, I post it as a discussion, then I make it a manager, manager's choice, and it lives up here for the duration of uh, when I'm trying to market that event. You can also monitor your group's discussions. So um, if you see something coming through your group and it's not appropriate content, it's not relevant to what the group's doing, or it's somebody spamming on LinkedIn, which doesn't happen all that often, but it happens, you can simply hit the delete key. What happens is <clears throat> you can set up your postings as they come into your group to land in what's called a submissions queue. And so here it is, this just came to my group, it's sitting there parked, it's waiting for me to look at it and say approve or disapprove. Or it might be more appropriate to move it into something called promotions or over to jobs. So the content might actually be more of a promotion and, and within a group you can have a discussion, you can post a promotion or you can post a job. So you can move that content to the appropriate part of your group. 